the locker. Oh, that was I a lock. Had a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Let's break it. Uh, I think it was seven one seven one. Awesome. Yes. I knew that number would be important. I'm glad I remembered that. Because normally I don't remember things like that. <laughs> oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Kate Marsh knows something. Eh, dude, latitude and longitude, that's very... Um... I don't know. We oh, even took a picture of that? Oh, jeez. What does that say? It says something about pay up. I can't, I can't see it because, you know, it's covered with light. Have I finished inspecting everything, though? Huh. Eh, whatever. Call Chloe? What about go upstairs? No, Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Good. Nathan and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Yes. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospital's always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I get to see her again. It's kind of a weird hospital. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. But wouldn't this be it? I'm a little nervous. You didn't go to the reception or I'll anything. I'll be out here so you can show them yourselves. I was the total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you bored me. <laughs> I had no idea what shit she was going through. That's good. You saved her. That's good she understands. Like me. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. <laughs> Oh, yes. That's violent and painful. All right, open that door, Max. Just open it. Yay! She looks so at peace. Max, oh, Kate, I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, it made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they made them more than me. <laughs> I'm keeping the balloons, though. 
one of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawing. Balloons, you can suck up the helium and talk all funny. They got kind of dark there for a while, but I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's oh, so man, that's exactly. so wonderful. Let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. Yeah, they They're better. So upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. Well, I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel and Mr. Jefferson. Even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. No. And I believe she was being real. I Me doubt too. it. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Kate is waifu material. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. I just want to express my deepest wish for a speedy recovery and that Blackwell Academy is united in prayers for your return. The students and faculty have organized a rally in your honor. I've never seen such outpouring of academic and community support for any student in our history. I know my words may mean little given your circumstances, but it's important you know that we do care. If you need any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Hmm. What did I want to say? Um, what do people... Okay, so if someone is getting prevented from killing themselves and they're taken to the hospital, what exactly are they recovering from? Are they just, like, resting? That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Hmm. It's quite a bit of signatures. Ooh. Victoria Chase might be Queen Bitch, but she's not evil. I know you hate me and you should, but I only want to see your smile again. Please let me know if you need anything. Huh, okay. God damn it, the thing always scares me. Like, Kate is still working on her book report. Book reports? Drawings. I want to see these drawings. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow plug. Wait, what is this? <laughs> I don't understand. I miss my banana. Mustard, board cat. Oh, uh, I think that's a hot dog man. I've seen a hot dog man somewhere before. In this game. Where is she? Walk, walk, here. I don't understand. Um, Good to see that Kate is still working on I read that already. Let me take a seat. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But whoever said we only have a single fate? Oh, time travel is such a mindfuck. Yes, indeed it is. Yeah, there's that hot dog. Damn it. <laughs> well, that's not where I saw it, but yeah. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. <laughs> if this gets Kate through the night, it's Jesus. Okay. He died for our sins. You know that. <laughs> I don't think get well is quite apropos. Picture. Who are they? Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Hmm. Are they younger than her? I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, I still don't see any bird eggs. I must have missed them already. <laughs> Let me just look for something else. Hmm. All right, I I got lost for a second there. 
Yeah, I'm not sure where I'm gonna find this stuff, because this all seems like outside stuff. And yeah, I'm Jane, still inside of a so building. Good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Totally. Uh hmm. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be uh not an nice, asshole. But I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. <laughs> I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. I wasn't so nice to her this week either when I took a picture of her covered in pain. Uh, it's not a proud moment. <laughs> we all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? I'm insecure? <laughs> yeah, maybe. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody can make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. Hmm. Nathan. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what we did. You will pay you for what you've done. Anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so... That might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. Oh, no. So what is going I'm not on fearless. Now? Just. Um. Vortex Club? I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. Because we's coming for you, kid. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. <gasps> that was tea? So oh my god. We need to plan like a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh yes. And you could bring Warren along too. Yeah, and he won't be with Stella. <laughs> what do you think of Warren? Yeah, that still shocks oh, me. Smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. Ooh. You know he likes you. I'm um, going to the drive in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, my date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. <laughs> Even angels need angels, Max. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Yes, I will see you later, Kate. No. Oh. Well, how is she? Someone got impatient. She's still Kate Marsh. <laughs> Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. Oh, what? That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. He's going to be very vulgar, because that guy has a, the mouth of a sailor. He really does. Ha <laughs> ha 